Shield 101 here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Snapchat filter. When you're at a certain location on Snapchat, obviously, you know if you're looking at this video, sometimes like there's just uh, there's just some stuff on there, like whatever. Like, okay, this one's not a good example, but you know there there's something on there, just something on there that means something to the location. I opened up the wrong file there. But so Snapchat actually has it so you can make one yourself and submit it and have it be live for like everyone. So you could actually do like you could actually see this, so go to Snapchat.com slash geofilters or it, if you just Google Snapchat and geofilters it'll be like the very first ones. So here's the web page and then when you hit let's do it. It needs to be trans uh this is just kinda how you should save it. I'll show you after. Like I'm done, and then it should be 1920 by 1080. What a normal screen is, it must be under 300 uh, kilobytes, I believe. That's how you say it. I'm not good with that. And then up here, you have Illustrator templates and Photoshop templates. You really don't need a template. So what I'm going to be using is Paint.net, and hey, it's free, so that's why I use it. So you would just go to New, and then width would be the 1080, then the height would be the 1920. And then hit OK, and then you got something like this. Okay, then if you go back here and look at the guidelines uh, for it, it can be plate business, you're not currently eligible for it, um, select a public place like a neighborhood or like a school or like an event or something, and the graphics need to be a 100% original, you have to make it yourself. No logos or trademarks unless it's like a college or a school or something. No pictures, no hashtags, and just, you know, be creative. And that's pretty much it. What you want to do on here is, so if you know a little bit about paint.net, you have layers and then you could add more. You could draw in one layer and all that. I kind of like it because of that, because it's more forgiving than like GIMP or actually I've only ever used GIMP. so. I don't really know Photoshop or anything like that. So for this, you're going the bottom layer. You're just going to want to delete it so that there's no background, no nothing. This will be transparent. So then on the next one, you would write some text like, uh, "Let's just put snap." If I wrote snap right and I didn't, Snapchat geo filter. And the way that you would change these would just be after a word, after you type it, it's just much easier. So then you can change it to like whatever you want. You could add some, uh, you could add some pretty pictures. I just try to do everything like on a different layer just in case, just in case something overlaps or something or another. But my advice would be either do stuff up here or down here ish, because most people put, uh, most people, when they take pictures, they usually put their picture like there, ish, whatever. I'm not good at drawing people with circles, mainly because I didn't try. And also, if I tried, I'd be bad. So that's pretty. M so say you designed it and it looks really good and you're proud of it and all that. So really, I'm just doing this really broadly and quick because it's very personal. Like you want to make this go up and you want it to make it look good. So after you do that, you're going to want to go File, and Save As, and wherever you want to put it, just uh, just if you're going to do this multiple times, have a Snapchat folder. If not, then just put it on the desktop, and then name it. And then you need to go to, I believe it is PDF, and I'm just going over here to double check, yes it is. So drag this down to PDF, and then you'll get that'll change a little bit. And then you would hit save because I can't, apparently I can't use untitled as one. So filter because I want to save. And then on here, most of the time, auto detect is good unless you see like you see that if you don't see this checkered pattern, then go like to, to 32. I think actually one of their things on here is. Oh, Snapchat 24, I mean PNG 24. So, well, I like having the transparent background, so whatever. Snapchat, I'm doing it my way. So, you would save it, 
and then you flatten it so it's all on one layer. And then you would find it right here, and you really can't see it because it's transparent. So you would go back here, hit next, and then upload your image. So you would find it, let's see, what's what did I name it? Filter because I want to? Yeah. So you would see it there, you put your name in, your email. Really tell them why you want it to be on because I had some where I just copied and pasted like the same one over and over and none of them got accepted but the ones that did get accepted those were the ones that I really tried to add, like have them like accepted I, I really wanted to be, be accepted in addition to notes I really don't know what the difference between these two is and then uncheck this if you wanted to make an event if not like if you just want it to be permanent which I do not know how to take them down I'm still trying to figure it out. Put it in a comment if you know. And then you have to do these. You know, you have to say you're not a robot. Sometimes it'll give you a weird question or match some stuff. And then, of course, you would have to put those in, and then you hit submit. But I can't because... Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. And then on here... So you would just do, like, bam, 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 bam. Like that. That would be the area that it would start at. But since, like... Yay, whatever. You it sh it would say you submitted one, which I'm not going to because it, this looks stupid, but I I did not try whatsoever on this. But so that's a really, really quick way you can make Snapchat filters. So let me know if you get one accepted. And I'll see you in the next next one. Have a great day.